Because Dr. King dreamed, we today can also dare to dream. Dream impossible dreams. Yeah. Dream the impossible dream. Yes, yeah. To fight the unbeatable force. To bear the unbearable sorrow. To run when they tell you. King 
declared his infamous dream. Yeah. Barack Hussein Obama stood where Lincoln once stood. Yeah. But he did not stand alone. He stood on the shoulders of Dr. King and Rosa Parks. Yeah. He stood on the shoulders of Ralph Abernathy yeah. and Thurgood Marshall. Yeah. He stood on the shoulders of Shirley Chisholm yeah. and Julia Bond and countless yeah. other civil rights leaders of the last century. Yeah. He stood as president-elect. Yeah. In so doing, he echoed the words of Dr. King, and he symbolically said to the nation, even though we face the difficulties of the day and tomorrow, yeah. I still have a dream. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, Obama was able to live an impossible dream because one day, King dreamed an impossible dream, and that dream lives on. With Obama's election, America said to all sons and daughters of every race, creed, and color, yes, you can. Yes, you can dream that impossible dream. And yes, you can reach the unreachable star. Yes, you can. The election of Obama sent a clear message of hope to the nation and to the world. It told children whose father had abandoned them, even as Obama's father abandoned him, they, he told them that they too can have the audacity of hope. Oh, yeah. He told yeah. individuals who do not look like the majority and who may have been the oppressed for decades that they too can dare to dream. Yeah. 